Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about Drawing Malware 3983 Sasgen, a detection you may have received from your antivirus. It may be rather hard to understand what it means, so in this video I will explain what it stands for, whether you should be concerned about malware activity and what you should do next. So, what is Sasgen 3983? This is a generic malware detection name used by Max Secure Antivirus, and it corresponds to a data stealing malware more specifically spyware, info stealers and clipboard stealers. Its generic origin means that it most likely comes from the heuristic detection system. While it may be inaccurate, the overall trend became obvious when I had a look at the samples on malware analysis platforms. The named malware categories, info stealers, spyware and clippers are rather similar in their purpose. They collect information about your system, location and person, steal your passwords, assess tokens, contents of the clipboard, and so on. Their activity is a severe threat to your privacy. Their hands seeing Sargen 393 should be a reason for immediate action. At the same time, I've found quite a few mentions of Sargen detection being a false positive. And this kind of checks out. Heuristic detection systems are not 100% accurate, and in this specific case, it may be unhappy about the programs it has and working patterns similar to what aforementioned malware samples have. So, when you see the detection pointed at a program that you are completely sure about being legit, you may just relax. Still, it is not that easy to be sure about each and every program installed on your computer. Additionally, the detection may affect the file you know nothing about, so it is rather difficult to make a decision. In this case, a second opinion is needed, and I recommend using the Grudgeon Soft and Time Malware for that purpose. This easy to use tool will quickly show you whether there are any malicious items in your system or not. Run a full scan. This will check the entirety of your files, so nothing will be missed. This may take a while, especially when you have a lot of stuff kept on your computer. Once the scan is complete, click to now to remove the detected items. If the program does not detect anything, well, it is possible that we are talking about a false positive detection. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.